I don't really date very much. I'm more of a, like, I'm quite free spirit until I really meet someone and then I will invest everything into that relationship. But at the moment I'm just kind of having fun. So I know Spencer from my days in London. <laughs> uh, when I was living in London we kind of had the same friends and yeah we just, we hung out and then for quite a short period we dated. And it was fine, we, it was a very short romance basically. Uh, so it has been quite awkward since coming back. But um, yeah, that's quite like old, old history. So when I got told what Spencer did at Rosie's dinner party, I, was, I wasn't angry, I was just shocked, disappointed. And personally I just think it's really, really bad, like table etiquette, bad manners. Um, just quite vulgar really. I mean, who, who shouts across the table about someone's personal life? I would never do that. Francis I've known for quite a long time. We're really good friends. Um, he's like one, of, kind of, like one of my closest friends and it's so lovely to come back to London and see him. We're just good friends. <laughs> that's, how, that's all I can say. So I've known Proudlock for Quite a short period of time, but we're getting to know each other and hanging out, and he seems really, really nice, so uh, it's quite nice to meet someone and like click with them. I think we're quite similar in some ways. Maybe something has happened between us. Spencer can tell you what's happened. He knows more about my life than I do. Andy I've met just since I've been back in London, seeing and meeting everyone. Yeah, our date was really fun actually. I think we're, we're more suited as friends, but who really knows what's going to happen. I think I want to get to know Proudlock a bit more actually, just to see like what he's all about. But he see, like, we're at the moment, things are good. And he seems like a really like fun, outgoing person.